is only saying this to, to keep her mom out of trouble. I mean, clearly, Annie just, just put these ideas in her head probably the night of the murder. Yeah, threw out the same thing. Ryan is convinced that Emma believes every word she says. You believe it too, don't you? You think I killed Stuart after all? Silence. It's nice. What? What do you want me to say? Oh, I don't know. How about... No, of course I, I, I know that you didn't kill Stuart. Why? Because you told me. Kendall... But why? Why believe your wife when you can take the word of a seven-year-old? You know what? Maybe I should take the word of a seven-year-old because she's making more sense than you right now. <laughs> All right. Feeling better? Got out of your system? You want to go again? No? Good. So we got to work on a game plan. Are you serious? A little girl just said that she saw you kill someone. Yes, I'm serious. Do you believe, Emma? I mean, do you, do you, do you honestly think that I killed Stuart? You're going to ask me again? Yeah, I, Zach, I need to know, okay? You know me better than anyone. The good, the bad, the ugly, all of it. You've, you've been with me through this from the very beginning. Every step of the way. Right, so if you, my husband, of all people think that I'm capable of murder, then what chance do I have with 12 strangers? If you honestly believe I did it, I need to know. I'll have them lock me up right now. Kendall. Kendall, hey, hi. How could you doubt for one second my belief in you, huh? Because I... I've been asking you point blank, and you refuse mm -hmm. to give me an answer. Because it was a ridiculous question. But Zach, you, you just, you, you said that, that Emma... I said a seven-year-old makes more sense than you, and that's, I meant that. Why would you think that... I know you didn't kill Stuart, because you told me, and I looked in your eyes, and I believed you. It's very simple. End of story. Then why do I still see flickers of doubt? There's no doubt here. There's no doubt. It's flickers of fear. I'm scared. I mean, what do you... I don't want my kids growing up without a mother. And I'm afraid that I'm not doing enough to keep that from happening. I'm sorry. Sorry. You've been turning yourself inside out, and all I've been doing is just demanding more. Well, uh, whatever. It's, we we got to focus, and we got to neutralize a threat. That's our job now. Who's posing a threat now? Oh, let me guess. The big threat is Liza Colby. Well, what did you think was going to happen, hiring her to be your lawyer? Mom, all right, you know what, forget it. I'm, I'm gonna go check on the boys. Yeah, uh, thanks. Zach, No, I... no, no, Zach, no. I'm not sure what we need to work through here, but Liza's a good lawyer. End of story. No, it's not the end of story. You use the word threat, Zach. I mean, if there's a threat to my daughter, I need to know that. Emma claims she saw Kendall kill Stuart. But, but, but Emma's just a little girl. I mean, she must be confused. Maybe she is confused. But Ryan's convinced that she is telling what she feels is the truth. Annie. Her mother, Annie, I'm sure she convinced Emma that that's the truth. Maybe so. But right now, we need Ryan to take Emma out of town. She's still after the trial, because, I mean, she's a kid. I don't want her talking to anybody. That makes perfect sense to me. Not to Ryan. He refused? <sighs> okay, I I'll talk to him. Knock yourself out. He's not going to budge. Do you remember? Well, th that's that. We're gonna have to get that later. Uh oh, is right. Remember the first time we dyed Easter eggs? Remember that? Yeah, yeah. You, buddy, you just thought you would put dye all over your face. You did, you little worm. Let me tell you, orange is not your color, not at all. And Spiky, you thought it was so funny. Remember that? Yeah, you thought it was so funny. You wanted to get in on the action. So what'd you do? You picked up, no, you picked up the raw egg. Remember you picked up the raw egg and you threw it at my head? Remember you threw it at my head? Yeah. yeah I know, it was crazy and I had to. I know, I am, and I had it running all over my face. And, and then, of course, what happened? Daddy Zach walked in. Yeah. And that was it. <laughs> 
I think we laughed for hours and hours. <laughs> we did. We laughed for hours. <laughs> so you know what? You know what? I want for you guys to remember that day. Whenever you get sad or upset, just remember how much we laughed. Okay? Remember how much Mama loves you. Mama loves you. Mama loves you both very much. Spike. Spikey. Mama will always love you. Yeah. Did my mom leave? I've made a decision. I'm turning myself in. No, you're not. Zach, when North originally put the deal on the table, Jackson said I, I would only get five years, maybe ten at the most. It's a good plan. It's a terrible plan. No, it'll, it'll give you time, plenty of time to get a confession out you're of the You're admitting to something you didn't do. Zach, it's the only way. It's the only way since when? Since Emma Lavery became an eyewitness to murder. I, I could get the death penalty. This, th this is it. This, this is better for everyone, for, for Emma, for me. Yeah, is it better for the boys? Better for me, for, ma for that matter? No, it's not. Deal's off. There's tons of evidence against me, and now there's an eyewitness. An eyewitness that nobody knows about. But they will. They want if you get Emma and Ryan to take off for a while. No, no, I don't want that for Well, me. I don't want this for you. Just please, please promise me that, that you'll keep on Annie, and, and you'll, you'll keep on her Kendall, until she admits to killing the steward. I already did. You did what? You called the DA's office? Kendall!